Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Golf with James. If you are here, then you probably watched me put together the front nine at Bayonet Golf Course in Seaside, California. So here is the back nine. And so I shot 10 over on the front, hoping to do a little bit better on the back here. Unfortunately, do start a drive off to the right into the woods, but was able to find my ball. The lie is pretty awkward but was able to punch out, leave myself a little short of that fairway bunker over there and take my hybrid to hopefully get it on, but I do yank it a little bit. Lucky. So one, two, three, and here is my fourth shot, hoping to pitch it onto the green and I successfully do. Long putt to save par here, and I do give it a pretty good try there, and then tap in for a bogey. Now, holes 11 through 15, with the exception of hole 14, are known as combat corner. And it's known for that because the architect of Bayonet Golf Course was a left-handed golfer with a massive slice, and so, what that means is that if you're a right-handed player and have a draw, then these holes are going to be perfect for you. And so first shot, find a fairway bunker. Second shot, find a greenside bunker. Outside of that, leave it a little too long. And unfortunately, then follow it up with a three putt on the way to a triple bogey. So like I said, hoping to do better than plus 10 on the front, but that was not helpful. Number 12, another dog leg out to the left. I hit a good drive here, a little too good because the ball ends up underneath some tree branches. And so the branches get in the way of my swing. I try to muscle it forward as far as I can. Leave myself a little short and hit a pretty good pitch shot here. It trickles up and leaves me with a about a six foot putt here. Just missed. So picked up a bogey, now 15 up through 12. Hole 13. I leave it a little bit left. Find the wood chips here. And then hit a shot that is a little too fat. I leave myself a decent distance away from my third shot here. Hit a low runner up. It's funny, you can see Sam there in the corner. It's not a good feeling when your friends are already on the green when you're trying to still get on. But anyway, walk away with the bogey, limit the damage there. I'm pretty happy with that. Hole 14 is a par three, 190 yards. I fly the trap barely, Whoa. just barely. I'm on the fringe. We're carried it. It should be over the bunker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit a decent chip. The green here releases huh? from right to left. That looks pretty good, dude. And give it a ride for not quite a good par putt, but the bogey putt does drop. So holes 15 through 18 is when I finally hit my stride. So I, I joked about having a par car instead of a par train before, but I'm gonna be able to put together a little bit of a run here. So drive is a little off to the left. I punch out, get green side. And then I hit one of my favorite shots in golf, the flop shot oh. here, and put it pretty close to the pin. Look <laughs> right how happy I am. And then got about an eight footer for par here. Love when those drop. Hole 16 here, teed up wood. I the love right hitting this shot. Bunkers, right? That teed up wood is one of my yeah. favorite shots to hit. It, yep. it goes about, you know, anywhere between 240 and 260 yards. It makes me wonder why I'm even gaming a driver, but, you know, 
That extra 20 yeah. yards with driver when you hit it right is definitely worth it. Anyway, second shot puts me just off the fringe here, or the fringe rather, good. and hit a pretty good lag putt and clean up the hole for another par for number 16. So I'm staying steady at 17 over. Hole 17 is a downhill par three. It's 223 yards. I, I, I feel like it plays more like 160. I think that's what I remember. So I take my eight iron out here, if I recall, leave myself pin high and leave the putt just a little short, had the line there. But again, not going to complain about picking up another par. So 18 is one of my favorite holes that I've ever recorded. And you're going to wonder why, after seeing that tee shot, I hit a big old slice. I clear all the trees over there and I end up in this unmaintained area with my two hybrid. And I hit it, I, I bang it and leave myself just off the fringe in two. Give it a little wrap there. Doesn't quite get there far enough. And so I walk over to then take two more putts to close out for a par. So that is the back nine at Bayonet Golf Course in Seaside, California. I really enjoyed my time out here with Dan and Sam. And if you're thinking about you know, what courses to play while you're out on the Monterey Peninsula, definitely give this one a look. All right, thanks again for watching.